Good day! This is a super quick video on a, a tool I needed to build. I'm working on a project to build a tensegrity table. I'm working on that build now and the video to go with it. Uh, it'll be posted up soon, I hope. This is, uh, I ran into a problem where I had these uh, cables that I needed to attach. I need a special tool called a swagging tool. I uh, don't know why they made a special name for it. It's really just a crimping tool. Anyway, these are stainless steel uh, fittings. They, they're quite tough. Usually you would just be crimping aluminum or copper on. Uh, so there are special tools to do this, uh, hydraulic ones and even some hand-powered ones. Uh, since this is probably going to be a one-time thing, I didn't want to go spend all that money on a one-time tool. So I had this uh, bolt cutter kicking around that I never use. I, I really only use it a couple times ever. So I thought, well, I'm just going to make one. So you can see this video is real time. I, I pretty much decided 30 seconds before I started shooting this what I was going to do. So this is uh, real time from idea to finished product in uh, just a few minutes. Basically what I'm doing is just taking the uh, sharp edge off of the uh, teeth so I can actually crimp these instead of cutting them. You can see I held up the my cold chisel um, just a minute ago to show you because my idea at first was I was just going to use the cold chisel and a hammer and crimp it down with that but the cold chisel was too sharp and it started to cut it my first little tap I gave it and since I do use my cold chisel quite a bit I didn't want to uh, grind the the edge off that so this is my compromise uh, if I couldn't if I didn't think of this I probably would have wrecked my cold chisel and just bought another one because they're relatively cheap especially when compared to the proper tool to do this but this is a much better option for me. So as you can see, uh, when I get this done, there's a nice little gap between the teeth now, and uh, there's a flat edge on each one of those teeth as opposed to a cutting edge. So this, uh, uh, this fitting, just th this is the fitting that's non-adjustable, this end that you're seeing here. Uh, if you wanna see the end result of what I'm doing with these, you'll have to wait a bit and see the finished uh, video. Uh, that silver uh, weird shaped object on the table behind me is the uh, going to be the base of my tensegrity table uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm working on. Anyway, so there oh, I'm just trying to give it a good crimp and you can see it worked really well. Like I was really surprised at how well this worked. It was perfect. I've never done this before, so I figured a couple extra crimps would be better than just one. I have, don't really know how many you're supposed to put on it. I thought, well, it's enough room there. I'm going to put three on it. Won't look crowded. Won't be bad. Um, and it seems to hold quite well. Uh, you can see I, I do a little test at the end of this video and kind of pick up my whole bench, the corner of my bench, uh, with no problem. Uh, after this video is over, I uh, figured out a way to anchor that kind of to the ceiling, and I hung off it. And again, it didn't move. So I don't know how much it'll hold, but at least a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, don't make fun of me for being that heavy. Anyway, so this is uh, just a, a quick uh, DIY, how to make your own tool for swagging. Buying is great, but you don't need to do it all the time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.